Hello and welcome. This video on workbook solutions for class 5th AVS chapter number 10 Walls Tell Stories is brought to you by Mint Talk India. Let's see our questions. Question number 1. Fill in the blanks with appropriate words given in the box. Number 1. Dash Sultans lived in Golconda Fort from 1518 to 1687. That is Kutub Shahi Sultans. Number 2. Guns and cannons were used in the past. These days, many countries have nuclear bombs. Next fill in the blanks. Clay pipes were used to carry water to different places in the palace. And last one. There were beautiful carvings on the walls of Golconda Fort. Number 2. Write true or false. Point number 1. In the year 1200 AD, the Golconda Fort was made of bricks? No, it is false. In the beginning, Golconda Fort was made up of mud. Point number 2. People like farmers and workers also lived in Golconda Fort? Yes, that is true. Point number 3. Golconda Fort has 4 floors. No, that is false. It has 2 floors. Point number 4. A long deep ditch was made along the Golconda Fort walls? Yes, that is true. Point number 5. In the fort, a thousand years ago, tribal people were able to extract copper and tin from the mines? Yes, that is true. And that is why they were using bronze items those days. By mixing tin metal and copper metal. Question number 3. Multiple choice type questions. Number 1. How many bastions are there in Golconda fort? There are 87 bastions. Number 2. Which emperor's cannon is kept in the Golconda fort? It is Aurangzeb's cannon. Number 3. The gun placed in Golconda fort was made up of bronze. Number 4. For how long did Aurangzeb army camp outside Golconda fort to capture it? About 8 months. Point number 5. Where is Golconda fort? It is in the city of Hyderabad. Next question. Give reasons. Number 1. Bastions were even higher than the fort walls because bastions were made at a great height so that the soldiers could get a large viewing area. Number 2. Aurangzeb's army could not get into the Golconda fort. Answer. Aurangzeb's army could not enter the Golconda fort because of its thick wall, deep ditch around the fort wall and vigilant soldiers watching from the bastions. Question number 5. Using the clue given below, guess the word. Number 1. The part of wall that comes outside in a round shape, it is called bastion. Number 2. The big gun is also called as cannon. Number 3. The arches to move through is called mehrab. Number 4. A place where old items are kept, we call it as museum. And last one, leather bags to carry water, which people were using in earlier days, it is called mashak. Next question, circle the special features, things of the Golconda fort. So inside the Golconda fort, we can see factories, carved walls, big halls, huge gate, garden, sharp iron spokes on the iron gates, burj and fountains. Next question, answer the following in brief. How did the emperors and kings in earlier times make smaller kingdoms a part of their own kingdoms? So sometimes by friendship, sometimes by flattery, marriage or even attacking the other kingdoms, they used to make smaller kingdoms a part of their own kingdom. Next question, what are bastions? Why holes were made in the bastions? Bastions are the part of the wall that comes out in a round shape. These were made to provide security to the fort. Number 2, how was the water lifted to big tanks and fountains on the roof? Like so you are seeing in the picture. With the help of drum, tooted wheel and poles, water was carried up from water reservoir and sent to fountains and big tanks through clay pipelines. Next question. What were the arrangements of light and air in Golconda Fort? Ventilators were made high up on the walls for light and air to come in. Next question. Which things were found when the place around Golconda Fort was dug? People found bronze items, pots, jewelries, swords, etc. when the place around Golconda Fort was dug. Observe the figure and answer the following question. Which animal is being used in this picture? We can see bullocks. Number 2. In which direction would the toothed wheel move? Toothed wheel would move in anti-clockwise direction. Usually the drum and the toothed wheel moves in opposite direction. If the drum is moving in clockwise direction, then the toothed wheel will move in the anti-clockwise direction. Next question. How was water lifted from the well? 
when the toothed wheel moved the pole attached with it also moved and the buckets attached with it also moved carrying the water and sending the water to the clay pipelines look at the map and complete the story i always wanted to visit golconda fort i entered the fort through bodli darwaza this is bodli darwaza here and headed north towards moti mahal so moti mahal is towards north from bodli darwaza and moti mahal is in the center of the fort from there bagh naya kila is in east direction from moti mahal bagh naya kila is in east direction while bala hisar is in west direction from moti mahal bala hisar is in west direction to see naya kila i should go north so this is naya kila towards the north from moti mahal you will go towards the north to see naya kila and to see dhan ka kota i must go south so this is dhan ka kota from moti mahal i should go south to see dhan ka kota but i decided to see resham bagh which is west of katora house so this is katora house and resham bagh is towards west of katora house i visited all the places and finally exited from banjara darwaza long answer type questions describe about the intelligent architecture of the golconda fort golconda fort was built on top of a hill so that soldiers could see a large area long deep ditch was dug around the fort wall for better security there was thick fort walls with 87 bastions and strong iron gates next question it is important to have museum give reason it is through the things kept in the museum that we come to know about how people of those times lived what they used and what things they made that is why museums are so very important think find and write write names of things that helps us to know about the past example coins so other than coins we can also know about the past with the help of forts pots utensils monuments swords and jewelries identify the monuments and write their name this is the famous lotus temple in delhi this one is famous monument taj mahal in agra this is again in delhi it is called india gate one more in delhi you will find qutub minar this is a famous monument in mumbai it is called gateway of india and last one is also in hyderabad and it is called char minar this is how we end our chapter hope you like it the link for the explanation of this chapter is given in the description box we will meet very soon with the explanation of our next chapter till then thank you very much and god bless you all thanks for watching and do like share subscribe our channel mint talk india for more upcoming videos